Hi, welcome to Appley.com. My name is Winnie and I am one of your Appley experts. Today I am here to help you better understand your PSAT test score. For those of you who are in the process of taking the PSAT, preparing for it, or have taken it and are waiting for your score to be available to you, let me give you some insights and tips to better understand what that score is telling you. Essentially, the PSAT is a way to help you as an individual understand your preparation for college. So when you receive your PSAT score, you are gonna go to collegeboard.com, put in your login information and click on your individual report. Your PSAT score report consists of a lot of information. It's going to tell you your total PSAT score. It's also going to let you know where you fall nationally. And then it's going to give you some suggestions of areas where you can improve some skill sets. So let's talk about your PSAT total score. Your total score is a combination of two parts of this test, the math section, as well as the evidence-based reading and writing. Each section is going to be given a unique score and the combination of each section's score will ultimately be your total score. The highest score that any student can receive on a PSAT is a 1520. There are students out there that can receive an 1120, a 900. There are students out there that can receive a 1500. There is a wide range of scores that one can receive. So why is your score important to you? It's important to you because it helps you better understand where you are in your preparation for college. So for example, if you're going through your PSAT score report and it says, hey, you are in the 80th percentile, what that means is that nationally, you have scored 80% higher on this test than your peers. And so this information helps you to know nationally how you've done on this test. You also will have individual scores associated with different aspects of your test. This can help you have eligibility for the National Merit Scholarship Program, or it can also help you indicate ways that you can improve your learning so that you can be prepared for future tests. Some students might engage in advanced placement courses. So you might hear of AP US History, you might hear of AP Calculus courses. These courses are meant to help enhance the knowledge that you are developing associated around those certain subjects. So it's important for you to recognize that your PSAT score is just a guiding principle to help you as you start to navigate this college journey. There are thousands of colleges out there that are going to ask for students to share standardized testing scores. And then there are tons of institutions out there that give you the option to send in your standardized test. Institutions won't need to see your PSAT score, but if they are going to ask for a standardized test, it's either going to be the SAT or the ACT that they'll ask. So students usually ask, what is the average PSAT score? Well, according to College Board, last year the average was 920, very different than the top score of 1520. So when you think about looking at your score, remember, you don't always have to have the highest. Your score is going to help you to, again, know where you can improve your skill sets so that you can have a better score or go into your SAT more prepared. Another important thing that we want to talk about when it comes to the PSAT is understanding what a good score is. A good score is a score that you are proud of. Oftentimes we need numbers to better help us represent what a good score is. So let's take for an example, a student might be interested in participating in the National Merit Scholarship Program. If your PSAT score falls between, you know, 1210 to 1500, that's considered the top 10%. So if you fall within the top 10%, that's a really good test score. But that doesn't mean for those of you who don't fall in the top 10% that your score isn't valuable either. 
Your score is just one part of this process. Whereas there are other parts of you that can really help you understand your trajectory to the colleges that you might be interested in pursuing. Thank you for joining me at Appley.com. I hope that you feel better about reviewing your PSAT score results. If you have additional questions about how to review your PSAT, feel free to check out our blog post that focuses specifically on how to review your score results. We hope that you come back and learn more about your college journey. See you soon.